Okay, so I've had a question about how to um, make a montage when you've got fluorescent channels and the face contrast image as well. So I'm going to show you um, two of the kind of most common ways of storing the images and also then how to process them to make the RGB um, merged uh, montage. Okay, so it depends really how you you capture those images on the the um, metamorph or meta view system. Some people do it where they collect the, the two or three fluorescence channels and colour that into an RGB document in the, in the normal way. They then save another image just as a, a TIFF which is their face contrast or bright field image. <clears throat> so that's that's the first way of doing it. Another way that people commonly do it if they've only got two fluorescence channels is to then put the third channel as the grayscale image. So in this case, you have the the dappy, um, the, the the green fitzy channel, and then the red channel is actually the bright field image. So your image would look kind of weird when you open it in image J. So it has this really uh, strange coloured background. Either way, if we were going to combine this this one, if we were with this, because I think this is the way that um, people more commonly have problems with. So if we split that up into the individual channels, you have your your dappy image, your green fluorescence, and then oops, what was pasted into the red channel is actually this um, face contrast image. The problem comes that if we were working with this and we wanted to get it to show you a, an RGB grayscale montage, if we did it in the normal way, by going through the, the plugins, color functions, RGB to montage, we do it on the horizontal, um, no scale bar in pseudo color, we always get it as this attempting to split it into a red, green, and blue, and then merged image. If we tried it the other way using the, the grayscale, same again, RGB to montage, this time take away the scale bar, this time we're going to do it in grays. Well, this time the, the phase is right, but we want it to show these in colour, and still the merged image at the end looks completely wrong. So we can't use this RGB to montage tool. So this um, is effectively useless now. It was just a way of storing those documents and moving them about from, from the snapshot microscopes onto the, the PC, knowing that those three images actually belong to the same, same set. What we really need is the individual channels as a split component. So we wanted to show these two as a merged image with this superimposed on the on the top. What we can do is first of all combine these two colors together to get the um, the merged fluorescence. So the red channel is um, we don't have one, so we can put that as none. The the next channel, the green, was this one here. So that's RGB green. The blue channel was the DAPI channel as um, RGB blue. And the grey channel is actually this one here. This is the RGB, and it's called red even though it was bright field. Keep source images. We don't really need to create a composite at this point. When you say OK now, you have the, the merged grayscale image we want to work with. You've then got the option of whether you want to keep the fluorescence as, as grayscale images or, or pseudo color these as well. It makes no difference how, how they work. What we can do is make this one look green, make this one look blue, and these are the four images that we want to, to work with. So we don't, um, we don't really need that anymore. 
calculator. You don't need that one. So you just want on your, your desktop the images that you want to combine together into a montage. What we then need to do is combine those individual images into a stack. And the way we do that is we go under the image stacks tool and there's images to a stack. What do you want to use? Yeah, make a stack. Do you want to use titles? Not in this case. Keep the source images just in case we've done anything wrong. And what we end up with is a stack, a little bit, where we can go through the different colours. And then these might be in the wrong order. So if we were just going to make a montage of this, it would go grayscale, green, blue, um, merged. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Under image, stacks, make montage. And you've just got to decide how you want it to look in this in a similar way that you do with the RGB montage plugin. So we want four images across, one down, scaling factor of one. Use all four images. Um, and if you want a little border, that's where you put it in there. Font size we don't need to worry about. Okay. And that produces your um, grayscale and fluorescence and merged image. If we wanted to change that order, we can launch a plugin, which is Stacks Shuffling, and there's a Stacks Sorter button here. And that allows you to change the order of this stack. So if you wanted the um, the green and the, the blue to be, to be switched, go to your green image and just use the, the nudge forward or backwards or, or send it to the, to the beginning or end. So now we've changed the order. It's now grey, blue, green, merged. And again, on the um, image, stacks, make montage, same as before. This time, we've got the stack in a different order. So that's that's using it from, from the three, three color image. And it would be exactly the same if the stack was opened up in a, in a different order. So it would be exactly the same if you'd saved it as um, a three colour fluorescence image and then the grey image um, as a separate TIFF. The first thing we need to do is split apart this RGB fluorescence image into its constituent parts. And then you're at exactly the same place as, as before, where um, you can tweak all of the images, um, and then you can put it back together and choose if you want to have the, the grayscale image included in it as well. So you've got the blue, the green, whoops, blue, green up there. So it looks pretty, pretty terrible when you have all of those colours together, but that's the way it, it, it works. In fact, I've done that wrong. I've got two, two channels in, in one. Okay, in. The red is the red, blue is the blue, sorry, green is the green, grey is the fades. Keep source images. That makes more sense. So now we have all of these, these images. It's going to start to look quite a messy. Um, montage when you make it because there's going to be a lot of boxes but it's it's possible to choose which ones of these you use um, and if again if you want it in colour you can just go through and apply a lookup table to each of these these channels and from this point here you can then combine that together into a stack so it's image stacks Images to a stack. Keep source images just in case you make a mess of it. And here are your channels, which you can change the order of using the plugin. Plugin uh, stacks shuffling, stack sorter. So if we, we wanted to do it, so it's phase red, green, blue, 
merged. Stacks make montage. Um, so in this case, there'd be five, five images, one row, all the same size as the original images. Border width three. So you can do it like that, but it's obviously going to look look quite messy. The other way is to go back to your stack, and this time we can get rid of that first. Um, some of these channels, like we don't really care about the the dappy, maybe. We just want to show that in the merge. We don't really care about the the um, the phases one at the beginning. So you can go through and just bin the ones you don't want. So we can get rid of that. We maybe don't want the dappy one, so we can delete that one too. And then when we go to image stacks, um, make montage. This time we only have the three oops, three images. And that's the way it works. So hopefully that's been some use. Um, just contact me if you need any more help with any of those those points.